So you guys hear about these raids on all these luxury brands in Italy? Like Dior and uh... What kind of raids? Like, like people stealing them or? No, so police raided um, these local factories in Italy and wow. found that the workshops that are making like, you know, Armani bags or, or Dior goods, um, they're exploiting foreign labor. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, we're talking it's like- everywhere. So it's made in Italy. But by Chinese. Chinese Italian. Yeah. That's basically what we're talking about. So it's like, what's the difference? <laughs> you could have just had it made in China. <laughs> well, why, dude? What's the Italian air, I think, that makes it what it is? Yeah, the Italian leather, right? Yeah, it's like, the, you know, like New York pizza, it's because, like, New York water. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's gotta be that. By the way, I've had New York cheesecake, and there's something legit about the water thing. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Because New York cheesecake's unfucking believable. It's really good. It's so fucking different. That's true. The bagel's different. The pizza's different. Like, why is water. it different over there? I think it is the water. Something about the water. But yeah, no. So, so we're talking about Dior paid a supplier 53 euros per piece, 57 bucks, right, to assemble a handbag that sells in stores for 2,780. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And our chicks love this shit. Why? They love it. Well, my chick doesn't. Thank God. But. My wife does. Yes, yeah, see somebody. She likes the vintage stuff. She likes to find the rare ones. Well, the vintage the ones were not made by Chinese. Though. I know. She's She's they're made well. by we poor Italians. She <laughs> <laughs> she they make the good shit. <laughs> it was original. Okay, yeah. they had original mm -hmm. Italians doing it. But she, my wife, is she's in the the bad game, so she's always watching, and she always says the new ones are all kind of shitty now. Cause it's yeah. Chinese. Yeah. So now this makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, it's Chinese pretty. Ones are man messing you know, the up the main, Italian the bags. The real problem is uh, there's no more poor Italians, and then they they disappeared because of <laughs> because of COVID. Because oh, a lot of them died. Italians. <laughs> They're all making too much money now, <laughs> or they just fired them for charging too no, much. They, they have a population <laughs> crisis too. They do. Yeah. But so uh, the working conditions included um, workers sleeping in the. The factories. That's Chinese stuff. That's Chinese. Yeah. Being um, severely underpaid, obviously. Is That's what Chinese. Want, yeah. That's what Chinese want. Are yeah. they actually Chinese though? It doesn't say they're Chinese, dude. I want to. I'm just what going with it. Foreigners working for less. That sounds Chinese. It says that yeah. they're they're. It doesn't say exactly who, but they're talking. They talk a lot about, you know, child labor in some South Asian nations. Um, oh, damn. In the past, like other other brands have been busted yeah. for that. Obviously, mm -hmm. we all know about that. Yep. Because when I see some small threading in shoes, I'm like, no adult hands could oh, yeah. get you. <laughs> <laughs> That's Some kid adult. hands, dude. Yeah. So, and then there's a guy who's the president of the of the court system in Milan. He says, why exactly does it cost so little to manufacture this product? Like the brands, he's trying to humiliate the brands, basically. Yeah. Like, yeah, but everybody knows it's in the marketing. That's why. Yeah. Yeah, I got a sponsor, Natalie Portman, and that yeah. cost two million dollars. Yeah. I didn't know it was fifty-seven dollars a fucking piece. That was like prices went up. I'm in the wrong business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Stop selling rash guards, dude. <laughs> so fucking perfume and shit. <laughs> Luxury, but yeah, nothing's luxury. nothing's gonna happen. Right? No. Because this isn't this. the first time they've like. This is like the Catholic Church, bro. Yeah. Every time that we find the diddlers, they go, "Oh, we got, yeah, we got the guy. We're good." And then we find out a couple years later, ah, oh, this shit—they're still exploiting child labor, man. I think there's like it's one good. dude that owns all the luxury brands now. Is it? I think his name is uh, Bernard Alnar or some shit yeah, like yeah. that. He, he owns like LVMH or something. And they all—they just own all the luxury brands. All of them? Almost all of them. Like Louis Vuitton, Dior, all of them. Yeah, he owns Whoa. the group that owns all of them. Yeah. Whoa! I don't get the Louis thing. I don't get it. Louis I saw a guy. Vuitton? I saw a man yesterday holding Louis Vuitton at like, the airport. At the airport. Yeah. See, when I see guys with the Louis bags at the airport, I just get offended. I don't know why. Same. It hurts my feelings. <laughs> I'm like, what, what does it do to hurt your feelings? I don't know. Just like, dude, what, do, you, do you know how much this costs? Yeah. Just, just get a regular bag. Another regular suitcase doesn't cut it. We're men. Go to Ross. Yeah, that's true. Go to Ross. I know, but it's it, it know, just makes it, me go. It is cheaply made though, because I would, you know, the Caesar form shops. I would go into all the shops, and then me and Hannah were looking, and then she's like. Oh my God, the threading's horrible on this. And I'm like, I bet you most people don't know about the quality, but you do because you design, right? And then she's like, most people, if they went to like a skilled craftsman or like a boutique shop, or like there's this place in London called Savile Road where they all the suits are handmade and all that. She goes, that's where rich people actually shop at. All that stuff is aspirational wealth for the rest of us. So like we're going into and then they're like the shit that you have on display. She was like that shit's for peasants 
the because when they have the top notch stuff that are handmade by like a real Italian or whatever, they call uh, Italian Natalie Gondola. Portman. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they call like Natalie Portman, and then they or they they call like fucking any John yeah. Leguizamo or whatever. Yeah. They'll be like, Leguizamo. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> That's who they call. We got it in, dog. <laughs> Yeah, and then they get the high quality shit. Yeah, so, that makes sense. Like, it's like Rolexes. Yeah. Bro, brands are making shitty quality things for the rest of us, but then the top notch stuff, the top shelf, oh, it's oh. reserved for the ballers. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you're buying status. Yeah, but all of it was pretty shit. I was like at, um, what's that one? The, that Tupac always wears, the, it looks like fucking Fubu. fancy ro robes. <laughs> Versace? Versace, Versace oh, right, Versace. Yeah. I'm into that one. I like that one, I like right? That one. But I went in. <laughs> I do, I can't help it. And, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of my it's Versace so robes, robes is so, yeah. it's so it, it, They have the jumpsuit you yeah, like. I fucking love that yeah. I'm surprised you don't have one yourself. I'll, I'll get one. It's, yeah. I think but it's because it's so ironic. <laughs> <laughs> it's so gaudy that it's so ironic and funny, yeah, right? Yeah, it's the best. But, um. <laughs> Yeah, when you go in, and if you understand like how things are made, I got schooled on this, but I was like, what? She's like, yeah, they went cheap on this. This flap, it has to be like this. And I was like, so they're basically selling like swap meat shit, but it's just a print. And then she's like, yeah, yeah you man. can get this shit done for cents. Wow. And I'm like, what? So dudes out there are buying $2,000 shirts and they're thinking I'm buying quality, but they're not. I they're buying, I think yeah. people just think they're buying the representation. Yeah, a lot of people think they're buying quality. Because if people are buying quality, then they'll all be in Caterpillar. Like, they're not yeah, really... Yeah, that's true. Or know, Carhartt or, really? or Dickies. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing lasts long in the Dickies. Oh, so right. sad. <laughs> but yeah, the OG thing was supposed to be like, you're going in, it's, it's from a craftsman, and then like everything yeah. is made like to last long. Because even cars have the same issue. Like when you have handmade cars, People want imperfections because it proves that it's handmade. Have you seen that? No. That's like funny. when you have, uh, like the guy that does the Porsches who cuts them up and he puts like the Japanese. Oh, the Japanese yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. So like people you smoking always, a cigarette. They criticize his craftsmanship because it's not like perfect. machine perfect. Yeah. But he's like, that's the point, because a guy literally cut that with his hand. That's what I would say if I did something shitty to them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I fucked up, that's, that's the point, <laughs> my guy. Like Rolls, like Rolls Royces, like old ones. Yeah. Yeah, they're not gonna be perfect like a machine made them, of course. But that's people are buying that, like you know, like a watch, like a timepiece. Yeah. You know. But Rolex, I heard, um, it's all factory, you know, machine made, and um, all of the the companies just ran by a bunch of lawyers. So it's li <laughs> it's, it's like sick. yeah, it's just the brand is so strong, right? Yeah. Well, the brand is also. They they do a good job of supply management. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So like it's the only the most exclusive people like can get the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, they're smart because they understand like, oh, we're gonna just automatically discontinue these, and then it jacks up the price like crazy. Yeah. Dude, I sold one, and I got a couple hundred bucks on top of it. It's not even a collector's Rolex, but I was just like, I never wear this one. So I think I bought it for like 6,000, got back like 6,400 or something. So I practically, I got to wear a free watch and I got paid. It's crazy. <laughs> You're basically a sponsored influencer. So I was like, what the <laughs> Natalie Portman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your sellout. But it's, there's nothing, it's not like a Patek Philippe or whatever yeah. where they have like all these like skilled watch craftsmen that are in there with a fucking, <laughs> monocle and shit like it makes me laugh so hard yeah no it's all machine made yeah, i want to i want to i want a picture of a guy with that monocle shit and he's just doing a t-shirt because <laughs> that's how I, I knew a cat who, who used to drop like five grand at nordstrom's and he just he bought like 10 shirts <laughs> It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Why? And it's it's the quality thing. They think it's like qual it's better quality or whatever. Yeah, yeah. the quality thing's a funny like Fugazi. Yeah, cuz how 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 good can a shirt possibly get, yeah, brother? Yeah, yeah. How how can you I feel like anything that you buy now, the quality is good cuz we live in 2024. So I think people usually either buy for dopeness or status. Yeah. Like I saw a fucking Supreme um tool chest and it's 30 grand and it's fucking stupid because you could get a, a tool chest for like, I don't know, 500 bucks at Home Depot. Yeah. But I was like, 
If I had 30 G's, I'd probably buy it. Yeah, because you just like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The quality sucks ass for sure. Yeah. yeah. Compared to like going to a place where actual contractors buy. Right. I know I hate that I kind of like Supreme stuff. I Dude, hate that's, it. That's the point is that they were making collabs with random ass items and it made it quirky. Like yeah. the brick? Yeah. yeah, it's just like random shit. $300 brick? Yeah, the brick. Yeah. Brick painted red. <laughs> I saw a Louis Vuitton punching bag. See, that's kind of How cool. much is that? that that's kind of cool. That's kind of dope, I would have said. That's kind of irony. All of a sudden, it's kind of oh, dope. Yeah. I was like, what? It's kind of fire. Bart, right. as, a, as a, a maker of clothes. <laughs> a maker of clothes. How good can a shirt possibly get? Or, or like... I think clothes are fucking good already. The way yeah. they... Yeah, because like it's 2024. Like, everything's fucking good. Yeah, Angel, you make you make shirts, right? It's, it's all about fit and what you like. Like, my friend... Uh, Bobby Tribal, he, he, Tribal uh, Streetwear, they've been in around since the 80s. Yeah. Oh, Tribal yeah. was the sh Ooh. Yeah. He, he likes Tribal. his shirts uh, thick huh. cotton, right? I like mine a little bit more uh, thin and, and, and tight. Uh, dudes like it kind of baggy, you know? Um, so I think more than ever, the fucking clo clothing option is, is great, dude. Yeah, Cause even like TVs, cheap. right? You get like one of those TCL TVs, mm -hmm. it's cheap. And it's better than any TV you've ever seen in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. So like everything is good now. You can buy the shittiest anything <laughs> and it's fucking slogan. good. <laughs> better than anything in the 80s? You know what I thought about right now? I was like, wait, I think that's the TV in my living room is a TCL. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Everything's that's good, true. dude. There's nothing that's bad. <laughs> that's I, think I think I have a shit TV in my <laughs> I, I still have my, it was $1,200. It's for a 32 inch. When it was 32 inch, was like big. Yeah. yeah. So this, this was I bought this what, 2012. I still have it in my living room. Yeah. And then my wife will go to Sam. She's like, she's like, you know, like that 50 something or whatever or 70 something. She goes, guess how much? And I, and I was like, well, how much? She's like, 400 dollars. And I'm like, Jeez, what the up. fuck? Yeah, <laughs> oh. But giving them away now. Everything is good now. Yeah. yeah. Everything's competitive. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I bought like an OLED for like four grand. And then now you can get that shit at Costco for like two. Yeah. When you're making clothes, are you ever like, um, hey, like, don't ever put skulls in this because they're gay? <laughs> no, no. As a matter of fact, my next design is going to be a skull. <laughs> what, what, uh, a little, what I like is that in the beginning, I was actually, you know, no cheap labor. I was actually the one making the shirts because I worked at a, uh, pr uh, because of COVID, the, the, the shop closed out, but it used to be called Ink and Bros. So that was my another job that I had and so when I started the company I was actually the one fucking making the stencil Printing them out, yeah, taking them out of the dryer, yeah. folding oh, them, yeah. and shipping them. So that I, I, I like that personal touch. And then after they closed, I went to another shop um, and they're in Texas. It's a veteran run shop, but I was like fuck I miss I miss being part of the process That's cool. You know how to do every element of that. Yeah I took a picture of my son taking one of the, one shirt out of uh, the dryer, oh, and, and cool. I was I was sitting down like this, and I was like, yeah, and then somebody's like, child labor. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. Reporter. <laughs>